In this video, we're going to image transfer a photo and create this kind of effect uh, that makes it look like a sketch art or even a charcoal drawing. I achieved this effect by using something I like to call selective pressure. And by the end of this video, you will see how it's actually quite easy to achieve this uh, nice effect. Normally, when I use image oil transfer without using the selective pressure, I get this kind of result, which is also very nice, but I just wanted you to see the difference. Okay, so now let's see how it's done. And just before we go on, if you're interested in image oil transfer, this process is available in my latest book. So if you're interested, I will post a link to the book uh, on Amazon below this video. So here are the supplies we need for this process. Obviously the main thing you need is an essential oil. And usually you can get away with just using a spoon or even scissors. But today I would like to recommend to use a bone folder like this one with a pointy edge. Also, you can transfer to any type of paper and I often like to transfer into my uh, sketchbooks or journals. Something like this high quality journal will be a very good choice. And by the way, I'm going to post links to all the supplies I'm using today in the description area below this video. The images for this process need to be printed with a laser printer. It's also important that the image is contrasty but bright and with lots of nice details. I'm making sure to leave some border around my image so it's easy to tape it down. And I only tape my image down on two sides so I can easily lift and see the progress of the transfer. Now I use the cotton ball and I apply the essential oil to the back of my image. You know the image is bright and good for this process when all the details of the image are quite visible. Now I apply a light and even pressure with my bone folder. Not too much, just to lightly transfer the image. So my goal here is to make the fountain stand out from the background. And I'm going to do it by applying more pressure on the fountain itself with the pointy edge of my bone folder. Almost like if I was tracing it. Now I'm happy with the fountain and I'm going to apply a little more pressure to the other parts of the image so they're not too faded. Okay, so now let's see what we've got. I think it's a success. It's still a little wet. So let's take a look at one that is already dry and see what it looks like. I really like this effect. You can even see the pigeon on top of the fountain. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this fun process. Let me know in the comments below if you're going to give it a try and what kind of images you want to transfer. Also, let me know if you'll be interested in seeing color image transfer uh, because it's a similar process, but a little bit different. So let me know. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in my books and online classes, check out the links below this video. And as always, don't forget to subscribe.